and they've played five games on the road already, 0-5 in those contests. Dewana jumping for Georgia Tech, and the Yellow Jackets control the tap. And 13 points just the other night at Vanderbilt. Piercing the lane, shot won't fall for Bryant, collects his own miss and scores on the follow. Reeves an open look, and it'll go. Will shoot quickly into half court. I think they're just still trying to learn the system. And also, the insertion of George into the starting lineup, I think, has really helped Georgia Tech. West Coast Conference Coach of the Year in 2020. He was there for six seasons. Down low, Williams bumping and scoring for Alabama A&M. Dewana hand off Reeves out on the arc. Double team, and they suffocate the guard on the perimeter and jar it loose. Ahead to Smith, and one. Turnovers will always kill you, and Alabama will make you pay. Off the turnover, a real rim rush for Alabama and a and &M. Amos Stoudemire really expressed that to us, James, that player development is so important. They're going to keep emphasizing that on a daily basis. I mean, all schools do that, but I think they really... His experience in the pros will help them. We talked about the difference between the NBA and college. And college is 24-7. Cross-court skip pass and a three from Kelly is down. Tavares for a three short. An offensive rebound and the stick back goes for Eric Lee. Nice pass underneath and a dunk for Ibrahima Sako. When they're on their game, they're making that extra pass. And here's that little pass through the defense by Coleman. And good ball pressure. Don't overhelp, but you see the, the help in the lane. A tough one knocked down by Jalen Randall. Alabama AM just 5 of 21 from the field. Peak, he's a bucket getter, not that time. Again, good defense by Georgia Tech getting out. Quick closeout and contest. Reeves and one headed to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Good ball handler and that little Euro step to the rim. They push their lead to seven. They're doing it on the defensive end. Outside long-range three is money for Riley. And a steal from George. Dishes back in a three, trailing buckets. Miles Kelly knocks it in. George, corner Kelly, yes. Georgia Tech top six in the ACC in field goal percentage defense. Just barely beating the buzzer, but the shot won't go in Alabama A&M. 22% from the field in this first half. Reeves, coast to coast, plus one. He's headed to the line. Gets out in transition. He's very good off the bounce. He has good body control at the rim. I think the mindset is there. They've got a really good coaching staff, an experienced coaching staff. And you've got to understand, you show your team these upsets. And you don't come to play, you can get upset very easily. But Georgia Tech now has picked up the pace. A minute left before we break for intermission. Shot clock at eight for Alabama A&M. A hop step, piercing the lane, and a block from Reeves. Williams twisting, walled up, throws it up and in over Claw. I was going to say that's a little bit too much dribbling, but he proved us wrong with that good dexterity. Deep in the shot clock, flipping it up with the left. That's pretty from Amari Abram. George was ready to give support. Down low, Duana draws a foul, and he's going to the line. Found some space right in the middle of the lane. A little pick and roll, roll that short roll, but... And they have ratcheted up the defensive intensity. Down low, Dongo lost the handle on the way up. Dalen Smith driving kick. Blackwell, long 17-footer. And the rebound, Dongo, for Georgia Tech. 
Layup is through for Nate George. Blackwell racing ahead. Kick out Smith. His three won't go. And it's out of bounds. Georgia Tech doing a good job. Just dribble driving into the gap. And it's way too easy. And it's more about kind of choppy offense and reaching defense. It's not the official's fault. You've got to call the fouls when they're there. Reeves with a nice move. Alabama A&M just one made shot since the 6-12 mark of the first half. Blackwell drains a right three. on cue. He's been the best shooter from downtown this season for the Dogs. Well, well needed for Alabama a and And then the Cardinals sin. They don't run back. And a block on the outside. Georgia Tech with numbers. Resetting and getting into their offense. Sturdivant on the handle for the Yellow Jackets after the law. The finish at the rim from Ty Claw. Well, they do struggle at times to score. Georgia Tech with six offensive rebounds in the second half. Abram has to hoist. Another offensive rebound. Abram drills it. Facing Alabama AM is facing. Just can't get anything going on offense in the not being fundamental on defense, especially on the glass. Georgia Tech with their ninth offensive rebound in this half. Coleman, tenth offensive rebound. This time it leads to some second chance points. Abram, extra pass. Sturdivant turns down a three. And the corner pocket triple is there for Gapara. Because <laughs> you're not paying, you're not paying attention. But uh, I thought they were terrific all, all season long. And then it, after the first couple games, I, I thought they could win it. I, I really did. And uh, and they won it easily. So I think that's the thing is just how dominant they were in the tournament. Uh, UConn was impressive again going into Kansas. They got down in the face pretty good in the first half. But they came back, took the lead, and now in field house and lost in the last minute. But... Good for team building, as Otis Hewley said. We're, we're trying to get ready for our league, and they want to play this quick style. Georgia Tech is too athletic up front. Claude's had a nice night, eight points and six rebounds. Big steps, and the teardrop goes for McLean. Two on two the other way. Moody, plus one. will count the basket. Out there, start Tim. No, I don't think so. I think they're had them earlier in the season. They, they've got they're young in some spots, but I think they'll figure it out. They've got to rebound the ball a lot better, be consistent. That's the thing. And now Georgia Tech is starting to put it on here with a little bit more aggressive. Really like Virginia. I think you know, we talked about the pack line defense, and that's Tony Bennett's ace in the hole. Clemson leads by nine. That game is being played on a neutral floor in Toronto. Well, Clemson showed me a lot by beating Alabama. Deep, long-range threat just adds to their other guys that can score and I think gives them a, a different look. But I, I like Brad Brownell's team a lot. Spinning in the lane. Bucket will fall for Moody. Alabama A&M, they've made six of their last seven shots. And a run out for Blackwell. He converts on the break. Pitt, Blake Henson hit nine threes earlier this week. A Pitt record against West Virginia. A nice win for the Panthers is Gapare with the Euro step in the feathering layup for Georgia Tech. We'll move to five and three. And five and one here at home. Runner, yes, it's down for Chad Moody. And then a disappointing loss at Georgia. They just got to figure out how to go on the road, and I'm sure they'll learn from their two road experiences that they had in the pre-conference. Nichols with the rebound for the Yellow Jackets. Final five seconds. A three hoisted by a Bulldog. Doesn't drop, and that's going to do it. Georgia Tech wins it 72-49.